Trevor Mallard. Uh, thank you. I, I think it's fair to say that Mr McIndoe started off in a fairly spirited way, but by the time that he got to eat, the, the, further, the further away he got from lunchtime, the less spirited he was. Point of order, the Honourable Toe Henari. Mr Speaker, to, to, when you're talking about people in the House, you have to use their correct names. Well, I, 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 must, I must admit I, I was a bit confused. I think the member used the term Mr McIndoe and the previous speech, speaker was Mr Bennett. Uh, I was trying to figure this myself, but the Honourable Tau Henari makes a point and I'm sure we'll get this correct. Order! When the speaker's speaking, we're not going to have a babble. Please. Or a rabble. One more comment and people will be going... I should make them stay here till midnight. It's a suitable punishment rather than send them home early. OK, Mr Mallard, you've got the floor. Till midnight, Mr Speaker? <laughs> Mercifully not. I, 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 should have, I, I, should, I, I apologise. The, me the, the, the member for Hamilton, they're all forgettable these days. The member, the, member, the, member for, the member for Hamilton. Mr Speaker, what's this bill about? It is, it is about people having the right to have a reason when they get the sack. That's what it's about. Pretty simple. You should be allowed to have a reason. No, 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 no. Do not believe the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister overturned the Acts Interpretation Act with very, very clear in New Zealand law that the specific overrides the general. Under the 90-day legislation, People are specifically taken out of the requirements for reasons to be given, and any general good faith arrangement cannot override that. You don't have to be a very good lawyer to work that out, and I would have thought a briefing to a Prime Minister would have done that. The facts are very, very clear. This is the 90-day legislation is legislation designed to fire without giving a reason, and most Kiwis don't think that is fair. Most Kiwis think if you're getting the sack, it doesn't matter if you've been employed for five minutes, 89 days, or 50 years. You should be allowed to have a reason for getting the sack, and what this legislation does is stop that occurring. But it's part of a general package. You know, I, I actually disagree. Some of my colleagues say there is no plan. There might be no plan to catch up with Australia on wages and salaries, I agree with that. But there is a plan, and the plan is to drive down wages and salaries in New Zealand. And this is part of that plan. This is part of the plan to de-skill our economy, to have a lower wage economy, and that is something that the National Party have always uh, uh, believed in. They do not care about lower income. I apologise to the member. You know, I, I, I apologise. Getting him mixed up with that member is a bit, is a bit rough. But, Mr Speaker, there are, there are some other arrangements. You know? I mean, this clearly, this clearly is very bad for vulnerable people. Tohanari has been one of his biggest supporters, but I think over the last 24 hours... We've seen his innovative solution to low income for Maori. What is it? Shack up with a rich Pakia. That's, that's, that's what he said. If you haven't got enough money in your Maori, find a, find a rich honky and live with them. That is, that is the approach. That is the, that is the Hanari approach. That is the Hanari approach to getting Maori incomes higher in New Zealand doesn't want them to have jobs, doesn't think people should earn their money, but if you're a poor Maori, find a rich honky and shack up with them. Why not, he says. Why not, he says. And if that is the, that is the approach to improving Maori skills and Maori unemployment from the National Party these days, well, then I think it is very, very sad. But I must say, I must say it is consistent. It is consistent with this legislation, which, is, which undervalues, undervalues people who earn salaries and wages. It undervalues skills. 
It discourages schools. It discourages capital investment. What it does is accelerate the approach that the National Party wants to the bottom. They want us to have a lower skilled economy and they do not care the rights that they are taking away from people as it occurs. Now, National Party sort of quite like this. It's been going very well from their perspective. It has depressed wages. It has been successful from their point of view. It has is, it is depressed wages. It stopped people going to good jobs. And that is the approach that the National wants. And we are absolutely, absolutely opposed to that. I call the Honourable Tau Hinari. Mr Speaker.